You said it, Mama. I didn't. <laughs> I did. She made a big deal out of her looks this morning, so we're sitting here at the 7-Eleven getting us some uh, caffeine. To head back home. Head back home, and uh, she put, I, she got down, <laughs> digging through her uh, artillery bag and uh, put lipstick on. <laughs> she said, so lipstick is all, that's all that for just lipstick. I said, you put lipstick on a pig. I didn't, still... I didn't finish it. <laughs> I know better. Mm -hmm. I know better. It's okay my way. Yep, not so way. we are, uh, we've been, well first of all, tell them about John going, being gone. John's been at training since May, uh, no, I forget what day, three weeks, three weeks from last Friday. <clears throat> and dad came down here and stayed with Tatum and the kids and it was a good thing because they had some storm and lightning damage and um, but dad's been down here three weeks and john got home last thursday morning early from training and we see early we like one o'clock or like, something yeah like 145 a.m yeah. which is a day sooner than they thought thought but um so i came down to get papa and we're now headed home it's sunday may whatever it is 15 I was, I did come home. They came Tatum, on Mother's Day. Yeah. Myself yeah. and Tatum and the kids came Mother's Day. In case you didn't know, they've got a two month plus 10 days, 12 mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. That's one reason uh, they appreciate the help. They, yeah, they, and then, of course, the kids are going to school. And T ball started. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of stuff going on. And they didn't really, I mean, they don't, they have, John has some soldiers, of course he knows, but, and Tatum's talked to a few wives, but doesn't, hasn't really met them, I don't think. Right. So, dad was just down here for support. Support. And they, mm -hmm. they really appreciated it, and he doesn't mind, so. So now we're headed back home, mm -hmm. Indiana, and then, uh, last summer, some of you probably remember, we, is a family rendezvoused in Fort Collins, Colorado, because John and Tatum were at Fort Lewis, McCord in Washington, and uh, that, was that was close to halfway in between, kind of. So we actually met at a KOA in Fort Collins, and uh, that worked out well. So this year, since they're at Fort Campbell at Clarksville, Tennessee, a good halfway point for everybody is Holiday World. Holiday so we're World. going to meet at Holiday World next weekend. And uh, next I'm weekend, I'm on this ground payment. So the, yeah, they're grinding. The good thing is they're working on the road. I'm yep. not complaining about them working on the road. So, uh, but what I like is they take the cones off. It's like Oklahoma. Yeah. They work on the road. They put the cones up. When they're done, they put the cones up yeah. the side so you can use the at road. least use the road, right? Yeah. Yeah. But. So yeah, we're going to Holiday World next weekend with everybody. Tyler and Sarah is bringing the camper. Pat, Tip and Jack and Gentry is coming down. John and Tatum is coming up with the kids. And we're going to have a grand old time. Yep. Got uh, Tom and Diana, the neighbors. Watching Watch the, the dogs. dogs. Great neighbors. Can't say much about, as much about them as we probably should because they're always there if we need somebody to What's the house or what's the dogs? Watch the dogs. They're there and they like the dogs. And the dogs like them. Yeah. Sometimes I think they like them better than they do us. Not for sure. Mm -hmm. but. We super appreciate Tom and Diana. Yeah. So we couldn't do anything that we've done without Tom and Diana. No. So. No. No. so, yep, so we're headed back to Indiana. And Jordan, little, Jordan yeah. has her last base softball game tomorrow night. Brownsburg, so we're gonna go to that. And gotta get the camper ready to go because I've not deweatherized it. I cleaned it up. Well, it's pretty clean. It's clean. We just haven't dewinterized. Haven't dewinterized it. Put it in. Brought it home the weekend before Dad left. Right. Before we came down here. Right. So we got another. We had it in storage all winter. At Ron's RV, where we actually bought it. Shout out nice. to them. Was yeah. well, I mean, 
mean, we paid for it. It wasn't free, but I thought it was well worth it being inside all winter. We didn't have to cover it because covering it, we cover it every year in the winter time. And uh, believe me, that is a that's a job to cover an RV and uncover you know, without breaking your neck and, or getting divorced. Right. You know, one or the other. It goes this way. No, it doesn't. It goes that way. Good three weeks. Have a good time with the kids. Good time with Tatum. Yeah, the kids really enjoyed. In case you noticed, I got a tattoo. You know, and naturally, around with the tattoo people. Tattoo people. So, and naturally, it says, "Don't, Don't tread on me." So, that, that was kind of a unique experience. Probably going to get another one. Yeah, he's got the. Tatum says he has the itch. So, Tatum. Sarah. Sarah has a couple. Tiff has a couple. So. We don't want to miss the highway up here because no. I've done it. He's I, done it. I want to go to Paducah, but not today. He tried the last time. He calls me and says, I think I missed a turn. And I said, Where are you? And he tells me. And I said, Yeah, you got to turn around. He was headed to well, Paducah. It's, it's, it's easy. It's not a big deal to drive down here. But the one highway you get, you get with this 24. This is 24. To get on, on 24, you get on the uh, Penny Road Parkway. Penny Road Parkway. The sign literally is no is not even as big as what okay, we call we'll an see. information sign. It's exit 81. It's exit 81, so we got eight more miles. Mm -hmm. I did the math right. So, just remember. That's kind of what we've been doing. Uh, Good weather. That, that one storm was down here, like I said, lost partial power for Airstream, partial power for you know a few hours till we got an EL out. And, uh, no, no significant damage. Had some, learned a little bit about LED lighting. And I was thinking LED bulbs, but a lot of their lights in their house are LED actually lights, which are a fixture. So learn a little bit about them. Learn a little bit about the difference between that ground fault uh, fixture outlet and a arc fault outlet. So you have to look them up. People that's got a pretty new house probably knows about the arc fault. I don't know, but that was a new one on me. But no big deal. And last night we had. I wouldn't say it got, it got breezy. I don't know if it got windy. Yeah, yeah, we, it, we were it laying in little... bed and it really got kind of windy and, it, and apparently it drained just enough to really spot the clean truck up. So that mm -hmm. bucks the crap yeah, out of me. But it's probably going to go home. Spot. It's going to go home dirty. Yeah. And then next weekend we'll be in the ghost truck. Right. Pull the camper. Think of much else right now. I assume uh, I know we had some storms or a lot of rain at home. I think at some point. Well, I know it weekend. stormed yesterday. Tyler and Sarah both said. So I don't know how the planning is going at home. It's not going real well down here yet. We saw one field. We, we've the corn, seen some corn. Oh, a small field there at Clarksville. Mm -hmm. The corn is probably six inches tall. That's beans. It looks like being the beans. Can't tell. Not big enough. Not tall enough. But but a lot of better shape model people. I we follow some people on YouTube that had some pretty severe storm in Minnesota the other night and uh, they're still struggling with even getting crops, even be able to get out in the field and put fertilizer in on. So most of those guys haven't got anything in the ground. Sure, we're better. You know, we don't. We're fortunate. We don't have to worry about that personally. But a lot of people don't do. A lot of people here do. So. Okay, we'll see you at uh, holiday. See you a little bit. Yeah, we'll see our you home. Our home. Our <laughs> truck's full of diesel fuel, so. We don't have to stop. We don't have to stop until we get home. Love the price of diesel fuel. Thanks, Joe and Pamela. Rest of the circus. We won't even go into that. But it's a hardship on a lot of people. We're very fortunate. And don't forget the uh, baby formula. Baby
recipe formula shortage, and there is a shortage. that in your all those people in your prayers and not only a shortage but you know the price of it is up and then you got some people black marketing you know there's I call it a black market there's a time and place for buying and selling and uh, making baby some money but maybe for me but there are some well, some people doing that apparently people doing that so keep you know Keep that in mind. If you know where there's a food bank that would like to have some formula, and you find any, find out what they need or what they want, or if they want any, you can come across. Uh, give them a holler. There's a lot of local food banks that I'm sure could use use the help, and a lot of people could use the help that have babies. Anyway, well, uh, remember, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe because that helps us do what we like to do. See you. God bless you. God bless America. Say a prayer for somebody today. See you.